is up, guys? It's your boy Pete coming at you again with another episode of North Florida Smoke. It is draft night. We got the first night of the NFL draft coming up. And to mark the occasion, I'm going to be doing an awesome recipe for you guys. I'm going to show you how to make your own crunch wrap supremes at home. I'm not sure if you've seen the prices at Taco Bell lately, but they are outrageous, uh, as are the, uh, the side effects that might come with eating at Taco Bell. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these at home. So we're going to get some ground beef cooked up. We're going to show you how to assemble those crunch wrap supremes, and we're going to cook them outside on the Blackstone. So appreciate you stopping by. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be bringing you guys a lot more content going forward, so make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss any of it. All right, so we're inside the kitchen. Let's talk a little bit about the ingredients that we're gonna need today for our Crunch Wrap Supreme. So uh, from left to right here, we have our 80-20 ground beef. We've got some taco seasoning as well as some tomatoes. Uh, behind that, we also have some tostada shells. It's gonna be where we're getting the crunch from our Crunch Wrap. Uh, we've got some zesty ranch sauce, some medium taco sauce. We've got extra large and normal size flour tortillas. We've also got some sour cream, some mild cheddar, and some shredded iceberg lettuce. So let's go ahead and get this hamburger cooked up. I'm gonna cook it ahead of time so we can cool it off a little bit and that'll prevent our crunch wraps from becoming soggy. So uh, we'll see you outside. We're making crunch wraps and creams. Here's Murphy. Hi Murphy. <laughs> Our ground beef browned up. I'm gonna take my old El Paso ta or taco kit. I'm gonna sprinkle that over the top. I'm gonna add about three quarters of a cup of water and mix that up. I'm gonna add in a little bit of Cholula. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and get these assembled. I already started. I microwaved um, our extra large flour tortillas. So to start, I'm going to take a little bit of our cheddar cheese. And I'm going to try to keep everything kind of right in the middle here. So I don't want this to spread out super far because we are going to be wrapping it closed. Take some of our ground beef that we just cooked out on the Blackstone. And I'm going to just kind of put that in a circle here in the middle as well. Between the meat and the shell here, I'm gonna put a tiny little bit more cheese. I'm also gonna take some of our taco sauce. And a little bit of our zesty ranch. If you got the Baja sauce, go for it. I take this tostada shell. And as you can see, everything kind of lays right underneath there. So on top of that tostada shell, I'm gonna add a little bit of our tomato some lettuce. I'm also going to add a little bit more of our ranch sauce, a little bit more taco sauce, and then a little bit more of the cheese. Now what the cheese is going to do is help this other tortilla stick. And then I'm going to take our other tortilla and I'm going to lay that right on top. Now if you have tortillas that are large enough to close on their own, fantastic. If not, what you can do is actually just lay this on top so you have enough surface area. So I'm gonna take a little corner of it and then I'm gonna kind of start folding. And I'm gonna fold all of this on either side, right around. And in little sections here, I'm gonna kind of close this entire thing up. Just like this. Now, what I wanna do before I put this on the griddle is I want it to kind of rest and also kind of stay closed. So I'm actually gonna put this onto a plate here and then I'm gonna put another plate on top of it to kind of hold it down. We're heating up our griddle here. I'm just gonna take some butter cover a good surface area. I'm gonna kind of cook this like a grilled cheese. Now I'm gonna take my crunch wrap, try to keep it as closed as I possibly can, and lay it down and give it a good press, and we'll let the heat do the rest. Mm. 
It's looking pretty good. All right, we are back in the kitchen here. We got our finished Crunch Wrap Supremes. Gonna let them cool for a couple minutes, show you the inside of one of these and see how they came out. All right, here we are with our finished Crunch Wrap Supreme, and it is dinner time. Thanks for checking us out on another episode of North Florida Smoke. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Keep on barbecuing. All right, I'm here with our finished product. Give you a little look-see inside once again. Take a little bite, see how we did. Hmm. That's good stuff. Time to eat, it's almost draft time. Thank you.